Well, this man, Jason Brown, was a late add to this uh, Skate America lineup. He got the call after Olympic champion Evan Lysacek withdrew because of injury. And you talk about seizing the moment. This American teenager skated out of his skin in his senior Grand Prix debut the other day. And he sat in second place after the short. And he is so sweet, so nice, so polite. You sure he's not Canadian? <laughs> <laughs> we'll adopt him, shall we? <laughs> no, he just absolutely loves to be a skater. He appreciates the history of the sport. I had a little conversation with him. He knew names from the history of the sport, and uh, not a lot of young skaters do. They no, that's very true. Planned double axle, nice warm up to get settled for the big attempt here. Triple axle. A little bit of bad luck. That's a difficult entrance that he had. Oh, it was very difficult. He wasn't carrying a lot of speed in either. That would have helped. Jason's one of those skaters who can just take a very, very simple movement and make you want to watch it again and again. He does it so beautifully. Well, there's nothing simple about that movement. I'd have to fall down a huge hill before I'd get in that <laughs> position. Triple axle not quite there today. But the spins are. He's able to create moments, sculptures almost, on the ice with his spins. He has pieces of art. Take a breath, take it in. What we haven't seen is any speed and acceleration and attack yet in this program, so maybe this footwork sequence and change of music will get him going. Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz. At least that's what I think. There's one area of his skating I would work on would definitely be the flow on the landings of his jumps. You can see a lot of snow fly. Toe pick scratching the ice. He's got to work on that flow. And I think as you say, Kurt, that would come with a little bit more speed into the entries too. Good advice. Difficult entrance into a late jump, triple loop. 
And I agree with you. You just sort of watch Jason with a little smile on your face. The American teenager has pretty much done it all on the junior ranks, and now he's trying to prove he belongs here on the senior circuit, and I think he did that this weekend. Yes, you're absolutely right, Brenda. He's, he's really announced his presence with authority, I think. <laughs> and he wasn't even invited to this competition. It took Evan Lysachuk to say, I'm not coming, and, Thank and you, he Evan. took advantage of that situation. Tatsuki Machida was the leader after the short. He's looking for his first Grand Prix win. We'll find out if he can do it next here at the Joe Louis Arena in Detroit. American teenager, there he is. Uh, Jason Brown laid down another strong skate just moments ago. I'm sure Jason will be delighted with the two skates he put down this weekend. He came in as a last-minute replacement. He didn't look intimidated or nervous. He just got out there and, sh and skated for the sheer joy of it. Good for him. Yeah, he should send a box of chocolates to Evan Lysacek, the uh, Olympic champion for not coming. Gave him a chance to showcase things like this. What do we call it? A spinning sculpture? <laughs> Using his flexibility to create shapes on the ice that I actually have not seen before, especially in the men's event. Backstage waiting is the leader, American Adam Rippon. He sits in first place with just uh, one skater left to come. That was definite moments where he showed his youth, uh, stumbling through some of the landings. That's something that I think I, I'd give him his homework is to really work on the flow there. But uh, I don't, here come the marks. I don't think he cares what they are. No, I don't think so either. Great job from him. There we see his total, 231. That will put him in fourth place for the moment. But now let's head backstage to Signa Butler, who is with the leader at the moment here at Skate America, Adam Rippon.